using the new Turnitin assignment tool to create a coursework submission. I've already logged into the module and turned the editing on. The assignment tool is an activity, so from the activities drop down list I'm going to select Turnitin, but not this original Turnitin, but the new Turnitin assignment tool is listed down the bottom as Turnitin assignment. Click on that and we have to give it a name, so it's going to be Coursework 1 Draft Submission. Uh, the detail is going to be 3000 word essay and it's going to be a file upload which is the normal way number of parts, how many files do we want them to upload? Just one, but you can upload up to five files with this new submission tool and each file can be up to 10 megabytes in size and we're going to give them a maximum mark of 100. Scroll down and the option now anonymous marking, the default is no Student originality reports, strangely the default is no, but it really ought to be yes, you do want a student originality report. Allow late submissions, again the default is no, but I'd strongly recommend that you do allow them to make a late submission. If they make a late submission, it's indicated in red, so you can choose to ignore them if you wish to. Um, this is going to be a draft submission, so generate a report immediately, first report is final, is appropriate here. But if it is a draft submission, do remember to choose no repository. The remainder of the settings you probably want to leave as their defaults, so we want them to check against everything, and we don't need them to exclude bibliography or quoted materials. Let's scroll down and save and display. This will now synchronize up with Turnitin and come back with some link with the information with the dates already set for us. So it'll set the date from now and it will assume you're giving the students one week to complete the work. And then this post date is the date when the students can see the marks after you've marked it online, either using a grade mark of Turnitin or Moodle, its own tools. If you want to change those dates, and I do for this purpose of this demonstration, click on the little pencil and adjust the dates. Well, I'm going to make it so that I'm going to hand it in, and the due date is going to be today. It's eight minutes past ten now. Uh, I'm going to make the due time. 13 minutes past and the post date when the marks can be seen by the student again is going to be today and I'll set it at one minute extra so that gives me a minute to mark all the work before the marks gets returned to the students okay happy about that click on submit and that has created the appropriate start and end times for the information if you want not to use grade mark you click on options and from this list here choose no, use Moodle to grade submissions. But uh, most people will choose just to leave that as it is, it doesn't make any difference. Um, that's it for what the tutor has done. We've set up the information. The student's got a couple of minutes to make the submission, so let's go back for the tutor view to the home page and turn the editing off. And now let's switch to be a student, so now I'm a student view, refresh the page, and let's get my submission done in. So this is what I've got to do, I've got just two minutes to get it done, so my submission, I'm going to make my submission now. And it's called my essay, I'll find a file to upload, there's the essay, open it and tick the box to say yes it really is my stuff and add my submission. The student will get a, an email receipt to say that they've uploaded the file and any second now it will bounce back to say yes I've done the file upload. Okay you have made the maximum number of allowed submissions and I'm waiting for the similarity index to come through. So let's go for the student back to the student home page and switch now to the tutor view. So here we are back as the tutor again. Let's have a look at the draft submission and let's have a look at the submission inbox. What have we got here? Uh, nothing's come through at the moment. That's a shame. It's taking a bit of time. Let's go back to the summary page and show you something else that's in useful. There's, you can export the whole class all their submissions are a single zip file either in a word file or in a PDF file 
and if you've used Grademark to do the marking you can export as a Excel file um, all of the marks. Okay, let's see if we've got anything back from that student. Yes, no we haven't as yet. So let's pause the recording for a second. Right, well after that slight pause we've got a similarity index returned here of 58%, which is not very good, and by clicking on the little apple or the cherry you can go in and use grade mark to mark the student's work. And that will come up in a moment. So we're in grade mark at this particular point. We can see the originality index of 58%. So we can just check that by seeing the pink stuff yet. Yeah, they've copied all of that. How many marks should we give them out of 100 for that one? Not very many at all. We'll give them 12 perhaps for their first um, paragraph. OK, return that mark. Let's just refresh this page it's doing it for us and there's the mark of 12 that is being returned to the student um, if we go back to the grade book now and look at grades provisional we'll see that the mark for that student has been added there the, um, the similarity index took so long that um, we passed the post date so if I now go as a student and look at my grades there is the 12% indicated. If, as a student, I'd have looked at that before the post date had passed, then I would have seen nothing. I'd have seen a grade out coursework one draft submission with no marks given. But now we have passed the post date, we can see the mark there. Okay, well, I hope that's been useful. Uh, thanks for listening, and that's how you use the new Turnitin assignment tool.